Peter Senge, in his uh, uh, many books about leadership, says one of the things that a leader has to do is to have one foot in the future and the other foot in the present. And the risk to every leader is that the present and the future either get pulled too far apart so that we become despondent and unmotivated about getting there, or we bring them too close together and we believe that it's not as hard to move from the now to the not yet. One of the things that um, uh, a lot of people in the leadership of the Church of England are trying to do to us is to rub our noses in the reality of the present what it's like, how many people are not coming to church, how many people don't understand, what's happening to the money, what will happen when baby boomers like me uh, are no longer there to give our tithe out of our pensions and all that kind of stuff. You know, the, the, the reality is, is forced upon us. And Bishop David's already said about some of the things that are coming about, primarily because of the reality. And at the same time, uh, uh, this estates commissioner uh, talking to the bishop said to them, I want to ask you a question. Are we in a crisis? And he asked the second question, which is, if we are in a crisis, should we tell everybody we're in a crisis? Because if you are in a crisis and you don't tell anybody, then people don't react properly. It was a very interesting discussion. I think we do need to stand firmly in the reality of our situation, into the nature of our communities, in what is going on in our nation and in the world, and what is happening in our churches. We have to be honest about it. We have to be deadly honest about it. And we have, at the same time, to recover the optimism of the grace of God. I mean, optimism's a funny word. Maybe hope is a better word. You have to. The risk is that when you really dig into the reality, you lose hope because there is no way out. And the, and the, and the, the risk of getting into hope is that you become too optimistic. So here's another thing that leaders need to hold together. 